What's up dudes? I am here early, really early, trying to get a few bows out of the back and get them hung up. Uh, so far, I guess this has been our busiest week of the year, which is a good thing. I think we've sold nine or ten bows this week so far, and today's Saturday, so um, we'll see what happens today. But anyway, trying to get a few bows that we've had in the back out of the box and on the shelf because the shelves are looking empty. We keep having the problem of all the manufacturers, not bows and more accessories than bows, but they're all hollering that, uh, I guess, COVID-related stuff has got them six to 12 weeks behind. We, we have not been able to find a QAD wrist. Hamski is behind. Um, had a very few of those come in this week and we're already out, so that sucks. Black Eagle Arrows was supposed to ship Arrows in July that we still hadn't got. That is a major issue because um, we're almost out. So we put in, uh, I think we got some Easton Arrows coming for next week. We just got to have something to get us by until Black Eagle ever ships. Um, but anyway, it's going to be wild today, I'm sure. Yesterday was wide open, non-stop. And we got Chris coming to help us today. You'll meet him in a little bit. And we'll just see what happens today. Maybe yesterday we had uh, a couple doozies. A lot of stuff that happens I wish I could somehow record and put on here. But the problem is so many people are finding this on YouTube. I don't want to embarrass anybody. You know what I mean? So if a guy comes in with a string wrapped around his neck, we don't really, you know, things happen beginners do stupid stuff so we'll see what happens uh tj will be here shortly i'm sure y'all stay tuned putting one of these buttes together i still think this is one of the best looking bows bear had this year what do y'all think this is the legit this is they call it the throwback edition i think they only made so many fred bear camo limbs and it's got the od green colored riser I think we only got two left, but it is sharp. I like it. Another bow I'm surprised we still have is this Midnight Blue Prime Nexus 6. She's sharp. She's really sharp. Alright, I got our Trophy Ridge stuff sort of back up to par. Our error rest selection is awful we're almost out of spot hog stuff again got a few more of the package bows put together we still got maybe 10 primes left so we're not looking too bad it's just crazy how hard it is to get stuff right now it always gets kind of crazy during this time but never this crazy Anyway, TJ has arrived. What's up? They coming in. They coming in thirty minutes early. Y'all busy. Line has already formed. There's another guy. Twenty-eight and a half. Here's Eric. Y'all know him from the live feed. He is sighting in his bow. This is the fella. Right, this is the fella that if you need a knife so sharp that if you look at it, it'll cut off your eyelashes. This is the fella <laughs> to get a hold of. What'd you do? You went to a heavier tip? Yeah, I went to a 125 tip and just bumped everything up a little bit. Got rid of a few folks. TJ's up there with a few people trying to get a string or two knocked out. It's gonna be wild, I think. We have not seen Chris that's supposed to be helping us today. Crickets, Chris. Chris showed up, y'all. What's that? 
He's an hour late. But he's here. And this is why we can't get nothing done. They pulling in two at a time. You gotta love it when they come in like this. Kapow! Oh yeah, back together. Tying one in. I'm gonna chop a few. I didn't miss some of the action, but we got it. This is Josh. <laughs> Him and my daddy <laughs> both started shooting together in, in the 90s. He's in Baltimore Matthews bow and we don't have a cam to fit it. <laughs> if anybody out there has a 27 inch Reason 7.0 cam, this man needs it desperately. Today. Call us. What we thinking? Josh here, I'll just buy him a new boat. What do y'all think? <laughs> he could, the one he's got don't fit him. We got plenty of colors. But no joke, if y'all got a 27 inch Reason cam out there, call a brother. What in the cousin? Well, he's got cracked limbs. Oh, Lord. I'll come up here in a second. That beautiful bow up. We'll show them what happens if you give it a a good torquing. How about this? Wow. Was this brought in this morning? Oh yeah. She got. I think it only hurts stirring. She done for. Look at this butte right here. What is this thing? Dynamo. I can't even read it. Robin Hood. Is it really say that? It says that. I think it is. Robin Hood. Robin Hood Dynamo. Or Dynamo Robin Hood. Not my first pick. Man ready to slay a deer with this thing. Fletching up these buttes. Oh, yes. All right, we have almost reached the end of our day here. Chris got one paper tuned up over here, put a rest on it. We fletched some arrows. Look at this beautiful paper tune somewhere um, nothing too crazy happened today thanks for helping us Chris oh yeah hopefully we got some Saturday help for a little bit T Bob's trying to get a couple done over here and we're gonna go outside and film a extraordinary Grim Reaper broadhead test so y'all tune in tomorrow for that see y'all later Last minute raven drop off. Y'all might get a video out of this one. It's four hours later and we're still here. We didn't leave. Nope. We just had Philly cheesesteaks. I didn't even show them my pizza, our pizza a while ago for lunch. I'm missing it today. We just had Philly cheesesteaks and wings delivered. We're trying to air out the executive suite in there. Cause it's about that time. Hold it in, boys. <laughs> A little over five hours later, we still here. Six hours later. <laughs> Love it. Seven hours after we closed. We've made it into the next day. We're... We're getting ready to wrap it up, kind of. I think we're calling it. We've made it into the 1 a.m. hour. We got a good bit of stuff done. Back at it in the morning. <laughs>